what just happened? <laughs> Hello, my fellow dweebs, and welcome back to another Star vs. the Forces of Evil reaction. We are about to start watching episode 16, A and B of season 2, which are called Bebe. <laughs> baby <laughs> and running with scissors running with interdimensional scissors perhaps let's get watching star looks so not like herself Funny, in that picture to try the jumbo mega fowl what's wrong <sighs> i just can't stop thinking about what happened to glossoric so he's gone Good riddance, I say. Little guy always creeped me out. But Star is all alone on <laughs> Earth now, at a crucial point in her training. That leaves us no choice but to have her evaluated. No, 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 wait. Uh, can we talk about this? I don't want to go in the secret closet. Oh, why is baby in such a mess? No, Star, Oh, I no, love no, that no, very no. My mom is sending someone to see how far along in my magic training I am since I got to Earth. <laughs> that doesn't sound so bad. Oh, sweet, simple Marco. If I fail, <laughs> I can get sent back to Muni. What? Which is why I need to clean and you need to cook. <gasps> Whoa. Hello. Aww. Hello. I'm oh, here to evaluate a one. Star butterfly. I prepared this spread for you, Miss oh, Baby. Please, baby. help yourself. I love her. More, please. That took me that... all day to make. Ominous puff of smoke is not I would super love promising. to make you more. This is the room. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's pretty much always this clean. I'm super I'm organized. What's that? Huh? What's what? Oh, that. You were supposed to hide. Oh, that's just feedback. <laughs> I mean that. What's that? Oh, oh, that? <laughs> oh, no. No, nothing. That's my secret closet. Boring. That's just where I keep Toffee's dismembered finger. Don't yeah. worry about it. I don't want people to... <laughs> Would you bring me that apple, please? What apple? Oh, sure. No, I mean, bring me that apple, please. With magic. Oh, right. No, no, of course. Pfft, star. <laughs> Oh no, Star, this is not very well undamaged. for you. Undamaged it is! <laughs> right, of course. Makes sense. Well, I love that her clipboard is a little Here it fish. <laughs> so cute! Oh. <laughs> careful, careful. Gosh, the Diaz's home is barely holding it together these days. Okay, no, 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 no. Seriously, I swear, I can do this. It just does that sometimes. You failed. Goodbye. Oh, man. Oh, no. Failed? Oh, no. <laughs> so this was all just a she waste lost of time? Faith in herself, and the magic started coming out green. Princess. Would you like me to read you the results? You lost the sacred book of spells and replaced it with a college ruled notebook. And lastly, your spell casting is so undisciplined. Who wants sandwiches? Get out! Your <laughs> happiness, you failed. No, no, no. I if I failed, that means I have to go home. Goodbye, princess. Oh, man. This is so bad, you guys. Ooh. It's perfect. I haven't seen anything like this since Queen Eclipsa. Monster love. <gasps> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Stop, I need hey, those headphones can I immediately. Can I scissors for a second? Yeah, sure, whatever. Thanks. All yeah, right sure. Guys. That sounds like a great, super safe idea. Come on, puppies. Oh, it's the one from the episode. 
episode. <laughs> what? I'm the forger of all dimensional scissors. Each pair is made specifically for the entity who earns them. I'll have you know, I'm a red belt in karate. This should be amusing. Okay, all you have to do is blow out this flame. That's one. Ah, ah. Hey. That's two. Ah, ah. Huh? Months, even lifetimes. <laughs> I don't think you're the goods to do it. Go home to your stinky dirt rock, little boy. I don't care how long it takes. I'm getting those scissors. Dang. This new dog park is really confusing. Dog park? <laughs> Marco! Why did you... Oh, no. He's gone scissor happy. <laughs> okay, puppies. Oh, laser puppies. <laughs> I'm doing my cardio. Oh, yeah. yeah. And put on the ink lights. Okay, girl. What good? Okay, so Marco opened a bunch of portals with my scissors, and one of them looks like this. Oh, snap. I thought Hecapoo gave you those scissors. I mean, yeah. She left the scissors in the bathroom at the bounce lounge. That's stealing. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's called finding. Okay, so is Marco in trouble? You know what? He's probably dead. That heck of a poo chick is crazy, man. Oh boy. All right, I'll talk to you later, girl. Bye! Um, <laughs> oh, no, bye! Dude, it's on! Hey! Escaped me on that what sort of fan fiction? I lost your <laughs> nonsense I is this? I thought I'd never find you. Not bad for a human. You truly earned these. Star! <laughs> Unhand me, beautiful stranger! How do you know my name? <laughs> it's me, Marco! <laughs> Oh man, we have oh, so star. much to catch up. You thought you had a crush before, honey. It took me 16 years, but I totally earned these scissors. Wait, 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 16 years? You've been gone from Earth for like eight minutes. I don't think I'm coming back. Turns out I really like my new life here. What about your parents? Or your friends? Or me? Take care of nachos while I'm gone. She's in good hands. Adios, boo boo. Nachos. Well, oh. old friend, you really gave me a run for my money. Likewise. You're pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Later. My hot bod! Where did it go? <laughs> oh, I guess you're back on Earth's timeline now. But look on the bright side. You still have your bald spot. Seriously? That's the thing that stays the same? <laughs> Password? I don't remember my password. What just happened? Okay, that second episode was so crazy. I don't even remember what happened in the first one. Oh, the evaluation with the adorable cat. Cat fairy, whatever it was. It was super cute until it wasn't. It actually got kind of scary there for a second. <laughs> Earlier in this season, I made a prediction that Star's ability to use her wand had something to do with her emotions. And I really think that that prediction was kind of proven in this episode, just because whenever Star started to get anxious and doubt herself, her star, her wand, I always do that. Her wand stopped working. I think it's because Star's wand is in the shape of a star. So I want to call her wand Star, but that's her name. Bear with me, you guys, we'll get there eventually. That ending moment with the tree, 
growing out of the apple was so beautiful. I loved how it was animated and the soundtrack song that was playing in the back was so pretty. And how crazy that star has a link to Eclipsa. I just thought of something too. Because of what happened in Into the Wand and also in this second episode, who's to say that Eclipsa and Star are not the same person? Maybe not necessarily the same person, but you couple that with the fact that Star wasn't phased by the page that she read about Eclipsa in the book, there is some sort of link there. Oh, and I can't wait to find out what it is. And running with scissors. I can't. First of all, we just need to get this out of the way and talk about the fact that Marco at 30 years old is literally like the fan fiction version of every teenage girl or boy out there. I feel like this show just keeps opening up doors or portals. <laughs> to more and more possibilities with the idea that there are future versions of Star and future versions of Marco. I can't even imagine all the theories that are out there after this episode. Please let me know your thoughts about these episodes down below. I can't wait to hear what you guys thought. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel for new reactions every week. And if you would like access to full length reactions, early release to my videos, and a whole bunch of other fun stuff, be be sure to check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Alicia Dweeb, and I will see you dweebs later.